Hey, anybody notice Big Brother cruising slowly down Rosamond Street? Come again. TV detector van. Like something out of H.G. Wells, or should I say, George Orwell. Well, they're quite welcome at our house for any time, as long as they're single. Cheers, Jill, love. <laughs> I suppose you've got your uh, TV licence, Mr S, have you? All neatly filed away with your pension book and your good conduct certificate from the girl guy. As near as Rosamond Street, did you say? And closing in, slow but sure. Oh, hey. I must confess I've never bothered to purchase a licence. They might pass me by. Not a chance, not a chance. They zoom right in on you. And if they don't, I will deem it my personal responsibility to nip outside and point them in your direction. Yeah, you could get clobbered, you know, Percy Love. I mean, uh, you know, fine, I make a big hole in your pension. <laughs> pension? Pen do you mind? I'm a long way off my pension. Oh, yeah, at least six weeks. <laughs> Don't worry, Purse, I'll come to visit you in strange ways. Don't bother, I'm not that worried. Because I don't possess a television either. Oh, just as it was beginning to get exciting and all. It's been, uh, been quite an exciting day, all in all. What with uh, Coast Guards alerted for missing seamen and detective vans out and police out in force. Detective vans? What detective vans? Down the end of the street. Electronic surveillance makes you feel proud to be British. Oh, yeah, they can detect what programme you're going to sleep over now, you know. It's not still there now, is it? Too true it is. Mark my words. Her Majesty's Post Office will be jammed with folks claiming they forgot to purchase their licences. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. <laughs> Me and Al, is that snowy looking bloke of summer or husband? Well, look, Willie, I'm trying to listen to this. Oh, hello, Mr. Dunn. Hello, Jill. I know. Look, we don't want this thing belting away, do we, while we've got visitors? Well, it be young Jill that put it on. Stop acting daft, Dad. Stick it back on. No, no. There's far too much garbage at the goggle box in this house. We're not a family anymore. Well, we never were. Oh, come on, shit. Oh, no, come, come on. I, I fancy a natter. The art of conversation's dying. Who said so? It was on the... Never mind who said so. Well, it's not dying in here. It's dead and buried. Look, I used to enjoy the old days. When, when we played games for hours. Good family fun. Oh, you mean when Sally broke? No, before that one-eyed monster. Do, do you remember our Terry? Dominoes. And I taught you how to play Ludo and cards. Yeah, I do. You give me my pocket money on the Friday, you try and win it back off me on the Saturday. Yeah, typical. You know, we used to win quids off me at Snap because I stuttered. Well, I'm playing no daft card games. What is up with you? Nothing, my sweet. I just fancy a, a nice, quiet family evening talking to my loved one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Right then. Yeah. I never stay where I'm not wanted, so I'll scarp her. Oh, what a shame! I was just gonna get the monopoly out. <laughs> Ma'am, there's two fellas here. Want to see our television license? Where is it? Well, I've been snooping on us, have you? Good evening. My name's Tucker. I'm an inquiry officer from the television licensing office. I see you do have a set, colour as well. Good picture, by the look of it. Do you mind if I have a look at your television licence, please? Well, we have got one, you know, if that's what you're into now. Not according to our records in Bristol. Well, your records are up the spout, aren't they, mate? How long have you had the set, Mrs Duckworth? We've had it donkey's years. Do you know, it's that ancient, you can still get muffin the mule on it. Who bought the licence, Mum? Bugger logs. Me dad, are you sure? Look, I'm not daft, am I? I saw him go in the post office. 46 quid. I'll tell you what, it's daylight robbery. I won't care whenever I even watch the flaming thing. If I know me dad, he'd probably just walked in there and bought a book of stamps. Where is he? Half a lag, I love. I'll half a lag, yeah. Come here. Do you know who's in our house right this very minute? Queen Mum, Lady Di. Oh, no, that's Saturday, innit? The guest Gestapo, that's who. I didn't know your mother were coming. You know the TV licence you were supposed to have bought? Yeah. Well, did you? Well, I, I've got one ages ago. You don't have to renew them every year, do you? Oh, I'll swing for you, Duckworth. I will. It's 
spent the 46 quid on that ready-dead trollop, did you? 15 love to Sue Ellie. You keep your nose out, you baldy. Look, I can't remember no 46 quid, love. Well, you lying skunk. Look, I give you half of it. Look, I just wish we had to renew the marriage licence every year. I'd have chucked it after the honeymoon. 15 all. Yeah, I brought good you and I'd have chucked it in on the honeymoon, love. Dead serious offence is this, you know, pal, to fraud in Her Majesty's post office. You can end up sewing mailbags. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope he gets 10 years hard labour, love. And good riddance. At least I get three meals a day and a bit of peace and quiet. And they'd let me watch the telly for free, which I don't get living with you. I think I prefer the Nick. Oh, you're not good at prison. It's a capital offence. You'll finish up in the bloody tower. <laughs> well, when I finish with that slimy toad, love, he'll end up in the bloody hospital. The only thing you can trust him to do is land you in it. Which he does, with monotonous flaming regularity. What are you on about? I'll tell you what we're on about. We're on about that licence money I give you that you'll never got. I won't be able to hold my head up in the street now. No, I could. No. Married to you, I couldn't. You're right. Do you know I never slept a wink last night? Worried myself sick. He's not his flaming head off. Oh, come on. Give it a rest. He's not only us. There's thousands out there without TV licences. Oh, what's that got to do with it? He put you eight in a cell instead of four. Because that's where you go, mate, if you don't pay the fine. And don't come looking at me when they start holding their hand out for the money. Because it weren't me my mum give that 46 quid to. Don't you come here insinuating you. I told you. I forgot. I can't hear me forgot. I put it in an envelope with TV licence wrote all over it. I know, and I took it out and put it in my pocket for safekeeping. And I put the envelope on the dashboard to remind me. But somebody at the garage must have cleared it, so I forgot I'm only flaming human. You? You belong in a zoo, you, behind bars. And that's where they hope they put you. Cos as far as I'm concerned, they can slam the door and shut the key in the cup. Oh, cheer up the pair of you. If Mag had away, it'd be an hanging job. Sit down. Is there any last requests? Can I have egg, bacon and fried bread? Charles. Oh. Hello. Don't tell me. TV Times, Radio Times. Ah, <laughs> very funny. He's been done for now having a television licence, haven't you, if you naughty little devil? Well, you'd laugh if you had to pay 40 quid. I'll be over 50 with the fine. It'll be a lot more than that. I think the fine's £400 now. He what? He's never. It's only just gone up. 400 flaming quid? You all right, or what? I only come in for 26. They've given me a flaming heart attack. <laughs> Oh, I've been working hard, have you? Scraped up the 46 quid. I've got some news for you. There's a £400 fine on top of that. Oh, what? We're in a right mess. Uh, less of the we. It were you that went through the licence money. You're joking, not 400 quid. Well, it could be a blessing in disguise, couldn't it? If you're not up half the night watching television, you may stay awake long enough to get a bit of work done. It's not a laughing matter, Mr Baldwin. <laughs> well, you will get yourself in these messes, won't you? Hey, you want to unplug your telly and all? Cos if they catch you watching it, they'll do you again. Oh, they'll oh, come and watch yours. Oh, no, you won't. If you can't pay your way, you're not coming sponging off us. Sponging? I'd need sponging if I'd been in your house, you flecky lot. Well, I was sick of looking that ugly mug of hers. <laughs> you going on your holidays, then? Yeah, me and a couple of mates. We think I'm going to Jersey. Oh, it's lovely there. You've been, have you? Well, not exactly, no, but I have seen it on television. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't mention television, should I? Not in front of you. <laughs> it's not flaming fair, you know. Well, nothing in life is, pal. It's not only me that watches the flipping telly, there's three of us. I mean, why am I doing all the worrying? Why is it up to me to find the brass? That licence should be split three ways, you know. If there was any flaming justice in the world, I'd be out of it altogether, because I'd never watch the damn thing. <laughs> I mean, you know. Finish work, come in here, couple of pints, go home, fall in my chair, I'm away with a mixer. I have slept through more episodes of Dallas than you've had up flaming dinners, mate. Oh, well, that's got nothing to do with it, has it, pal? I mean, the post office aren't daft, are they? They like things nice and simple. And if your name's on the last licence, then you're the one who cops it. Looks like your motor will have to go. All right for first refusal, am I? You can't tell me motor, that's me flipping living. Well, you won't be doing much taxiing around Strangeways Yard, will you? Now, that's something you don't often see. What are they are up to? Where's the television license? Are you round the twist? We haven't got one. That's what all the trouble's about. 
The old one, the one you shown that fella. Well, I'll be Erko, it's months out of date. I know, it's months out of date. Don't think you can wriggle out of this chat, Douglas, because you can't. Because I'll tell you what, you're on your own. You get no help from me now, sorry. But where am I going to get 450 quid from it? Listen, I don't care. The law says you're liable, so it's up to you to find it. Go to prison, won't it, over? So if the law says I'm responsible, I'm on my own, am I? Definitely. Well, I've got news for you. I'm in the right. clear. Because I wasn't christened Vera. Now, the law says it's you that's responsible because it's your name on the old licence. So if anybody's going to be on their own, Chuck, it's not going to be yours truly, it's going to be his missus. So if I were you, I'd get me banjo out, get down to the looks and give him a few songs, earn a few bob. I'll lend you my cap. I didn't know what to put on that. What do you think? Oh, it's for a funeral. Well, it feels like a funeral. Nobody on our side of the family's ever had anybody up in court before. What about your Uncle Louis? Well, trust you to remember him. Hey, well, my side of the family never had no flashes in it. Uncle Louis was not a flasher. <gasps> it was just very absent-minded, that's all. Oh, Jack, I'm scared. There's no need, V. I'll be with you. Ma'am, it's not an hanging offence, is it? There's thousands of people forget to pay their television licence. Yeah, and they'll probably come down on me like a ton of bricks. Set an example. Look how Terry wrote that good letter, didn't he? Explaining extenuating circumstances. He's about to make allowances. And Mr Baldwin wrote you that character reference, yeah. saying what a fine, upstanding citizen you are. Hey, I see everybody's on your side. Even Mike Baldwin's willing to perjure himself. Jack, I know you're trying to cheer me up, but I think I'd feel better if you didn't. And you best be off. I just want to take one last look round. That's all. Oh, for heaven's sake, ma'am, you're not going to a flipping electric chair. The worst you can do is fine you. Yeah, 400 quid. And we've only managed to come up with 250. How did it go? Brilliant. You got off? I ain't listen. It weren't all that good. Not unless you can call me and find 150 quid. Brilliant. Two light scotches, please, Betty, and a bit of lemon. Okay, love. So it's only 150 quid then? What do you mean only? When I think what I could have done with that money. Hey, you know, you could have been fined 400 quid if they've been so inclined. I don't think you've done too bad, really. You? Too bad? 100 quid to good. How do you make that sound? Look, we had 250 quid in pot, didn't we? So we're 100 quid up. Cheers, mate. What's that? It's a lemon. On your bike. I want to say it's you and your mum. And what about work? Look, every day doesn't turn out a winner, does it? I mean, work could take a backseat for one afternoon, can't it? Do you know, any minute now, I can just want to say it as a favour for getting to pay that licence money. Well, I did, didn't I? I mean, just think, only for me, you won't be studying and celebrating with 100 quid windfall, now, would you? Don't fight it, cock. You know, I don't think I could. Cheers. 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 He's had enough he for a week. Just come on. Get out with him down Cheers. the street. I'm watch going. Him. Come on, I've had enough. Come watch on. Oh. oh, so come on. Rude. Behave yourself, I see. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, will he pay it back? He already owes the till. I'm not so worried about that. I'm more worried about him mizzling off the old time and leaving us two mugginses to do the dirty work. Well, I'm worried about both. I mean, what's Mrs Walker going to say? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Where the ex he keeps skiving off to? That's what I'd like to know. That's not a gossip. Oh, very observant, Dad. No, it's motor racing. You don't want to watch that. You want a, a little bit of suspender. Stop. You want oh, a bit of suspender. Don't, don't make a fool of yourself. Here, lad here wants to watch a bit of hot gossip. Shut up! They're not even flipping on. I have not gone through a day like I have today without being able to come home and watch a bit of suspender come here. in my own home. Behave. It's here. Thank you.